Oh yes, I guess everyone can tell what hair is this, the, the hair type if you try to look at it. So these are the things that we are going to be looking at in this video. Alright, yes, you can see the hair type, the way it looks and uh, of course we are using the hair uh, the um, easy comb uh, the, for the MDC hair products. This is also very very nice It is really very nice. You just have to add in it there. You see you can see it's already uh, Looking soft already and now I just uh, massage a little bit and when After massaging then I just try to make sure that I make my portions so the portions you can see if I even if I try to comb just because of the other easy comb it is already soft for me and uh, what i have to do is to make sure that uh, i part it in two portions so that i can make my blood drying very easy for me you can see how it is so to those ones who are near me uh, you can also you can uh, uh, get this uh, hair uh, the easy comb uh, product it is really really very nice yes we have those ones for the kids and for you the adults yes uh, so it is very easy for you to come and get it and those ones who are very far from me i think you can always uh, contact me with the email so i can send it to you it is really really very nice and now since i realized that my hair is really soft and um it is a 4c so i don't need to make the blow drying uh i don't need to blow dry it uh too too much because still what i'm going to uh, plate it is something very simple uh, for it doesn't need to uh, over dry it so as i'm when i'm done i make sure that uh, um uh, everything is held puff and then this is how i start doing the plating so as we are doing the plating i just want you to uh, look at this very very careful because um you might mistake it with the other one the one i did first this is going to be like a part two uh yes of the episode of, of these natural twists with extensions so this time around we're going to start somehow differently with her own hair just like this and I do it in the inwards a plating just like that you see uh, then I braid it remember when it is with the natural hair if you just do like this it can be already firm so I make sure that I do it this way slowly by slowly just like that you see and now when I'm done I have to separate these and I combine them to be uh, two only so i bring my extension i add it on top and then i start braiding i don't think this angle you will see it very well but trust me i'll have to make sure that you learn it how to do it when uh we shall try to get we shall try to get the another angle that you can see it clearly and then you start learning and we learn together so when you try to look here uh, the braid is like it might uh, move but remember kinky can always hold this hair very perfectly like as long as your hair is natural it can always match with a kinky so uh, here the movement of this extension it doesn't matter uh, the only what matters is the basing how we have come from down so we should know that as i'm going to show you let's try to continue so that i keep on showing you those ones who have not seen the uh the, the, the beginning very well but what you need to understand is that um uh, you have to know the height that you're going to do you know i've been coming teaching you like Whenever you're trying to do this kind of uh, any hair so that you're doing, as long as you're adding the extension, make sure that the extension that you're going to add on the hair is really equivalent to that hair. Because sometimes you find someone is adding a bigger extension on the small hair, part, uh, on the small parting hair. So if you do that, trust me, you'll be letting your hair 
to be in a very very dangerous um a state in that it can a easily break so you just have to maintain the extension with the parting part so the the more the hair the more the extension if the parting of your hair and you see like maybe the hair is really weak even or you as you're adding your extension you also need to maintain that like not to add the bigger extension to let to, that will lead your hair to break those are all uh, those are always the small small things that we always do and we find that uh our hair uh, after after it all we we find that it, it is breaking just like that so you need to understand the type of extension that you add in with uh, you add in that particular parting of the hair so now i can tell you about this as uh, the kinky that i'm using that is very very easy and um it is soft that's why i always love it with um with this kind of natural hair and i think for those ones who are very far you can be having like the mali kinky or the soft kinky you can always use that as long as it is with kinkish if something is with kinky just know it can always match with natural hair so here i think uh, you can see it very clearly and uh, i'm using the inwards braiding just like that and then i leave you see so here when you try to look at it this and uh this this um, uh, step you can see that the hair has got volume the hair is with the volume so it is going to be easy for me like to braid it even and even even when i'm adding the extension it is going to be very simple so this is the good thing of natural hair that even if you plait it you braid it that way it cannot untie itself you understand most of the times when it is with the inward corners so inward uh, braiding sometimes you may ask yourself like why do i always use the inward rather than use using the not less method uh, that one i feel like this inward it it lasts longer you understand and another thing that if i would like to lock the hair it becomes very easy for me just to lock than whenever i use the the the, the not less method so guys you should also try to learn how to use this method because it is really really very very nice and it can really work for you so as you're saying um trying to get the volume from my uh 4c hair and another thing is that if you try to look at her hair it is um since i didn't want to over blow dry it that is the only thing that has made it to stay with that volume you understand not over blow drying that is the same uh, that's the same thing that you can always do those ones who have weak hair like when your hair is 4c when you, when you have fine hair and it's not you don't need to over blow dry it mostly when you're going to braid so like here in the middle you can see it is somehow short i'm still using the same method of the inward not less you can see how i'm braiding and then after all that i just have to leave let it like that so it is already firm it is already firm it cannot and plate itself because it is uh it is thick you understand so as i'm doing that you can see how i'm doing it is very very simple and you can also learn how to do this so all these are all uh, uh in my in our course in the course that we're going to be using uh, that we're going to be studying online and uh, i call upon everyone if you are interested in learning online and you're very far from me uh, very soon i told you like in this month i will have to launch uh, the online uh, classes so that we can start learning and it is something that i've been doing for a long time so i just need when it is like everything is ready when you can uh, do everything when you can just learn everything is what i'm interested in so uh, very soon i'll be dropping the link so that you can get it and follow everything that is on there so that you can start learning online so after all that before going far do you know that i haven't introduced myself <laughs> 
Yes, my name is Maurice, the crochet master, and I work at Hair by Clippers. Clippers with Z. Yes, it is Clippers with Z. So everyone who would want to come and get my services, you can always come at Clippers, Hair by Clippers with Z, so that you can have all these services. We are located in Intinda Minister's Village, and that is Kampala City. Still, we have a branch in Mbarara City, and that is Kamkuzi behind bam petrol station so you can always come there and have that uh and get the plating you understand yes and you have that service indeed so as we are concluding with everything i always want to do my things differently so i can reach here and i decide maybe still i can do here the inward cornrows and also these ones are in our uh, online course yes it is there uh, yes we also need to learn how to do this because according to what i realized it's also a long lasting i always love to use it so when i'm here i'm trying to add some uh hair extension inside yeah, i'm adding the hair extension as i'm plating so that it can also help to uh, strengthen it enough for my extension to last longer because now if i add in it there it somehow becomes long so when i add in the extension it becomes uh, it, it says firm so those are the things that i would like to share with you guys and please if you're watching this video i would like you to go right in my comment section tell me where you're watching me from i'll be there to reply you there and then trust me when you uh tell me where you're watching from and please don't forget to like the video yes if you do that then i'm happy and now if we if you have another question about this hair cell particular this this same particular hair cell you can still write in the comment section what you feel about this hair cell and i'll be there to reply you yes so this is how we do and you can see how i'm using the extension it is already long enough and then when i add in it here i'm doing it like the way we always do the inward knotless oh, sorry the inward corners and these are the uh, things that i was telling you that still i have them in the online course so if you want to learn it you'll be able to learn all this so for now for me i'm gonna be signing out but i would like to say something that is um that you will have to take it seriously um, whenever we are doing this kind of a uh, natural twist with extensions something that you should always put in mind a client is not supposed to tell you that she is feeling attention all this hair that we're trying to do it doesn't cause any tension so if the client tells you that just know that maybe you're doing it not right or uh, yes you need to have to first learn the technique because it's very very simple the only thing you just have to do is to learn how to do it so let me uh leave you guys my name is maurice the crochet master uh, we always do videos every week i make sure that i upload a video for you so that you can learn and this is what i got for you may the lord keep blessing you with the family with all your family and everything you're doing bye bye for now let me see you in some other video you look so good. Nobody do it like Maurice. Yeah. Nobody do it like Maurice. Yeah. The crochet master. Nobody do it like Maurice. Yeah. Oh, na, 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 na. Nobody do it like Maurice. The crochet master. Crochet master. The Maurice. The crochet master. Maurice got the touch of a crochet master. Nah, nah, nah. He got the touch of a crochet master. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. A touch of a crochet master. Maurice, yeah, yeah. He got the touch of a crochet master. Crochet master. Maurice, yeah.
Richard Master, Morris, Richard Master. Richard Master.